Hey guys, uh, welcome to the Brothers in Law funding page. <laughs> Firstly, thank you so much for taking the time to come have a look at this video and to browse through. I'll put as much information as I can below. Uh, hopefully, you can have a little read through. If you have any other questions, you know, feel free to contact me. Um, anything I can do to put you at ease and make you feel excited and want to contribute to this project, I'm prepared to do because Brothers in Law is going to be an exciting film. Uh, it's a short film based all around an uh, armed police unit. It's going to be shot from the point of view of a rookie. Even though he's a rookie, it's going to be a skilled, trained fighter. It's not like they're going to just say, hey, come join the armed police unit. It doesn't work like that. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be following this character as this unit is being called in to take down a mercenary terrorist group. So the reason why we're doing mercenary is that we're not going to label it as a ter terrorist organisation. It's just a terrorist group that's very well known, that's been spotted on the outskirts of London. And this police unit is being called in to prevent them from causing any harm. That's as much as I'm prepared to tell you because I don't want to give too much away. The reason why I think the point of view will be very exciting is I've done a little research. There's quite a few videos that have been done in the style of the computer games like Call of Duty, Battlefield. Uh, what else we've got, you've got Skyrim, you know, and they're very popular and I think by telling the story, not only just by doing the action but by actually telling the story from a character's perspective it's something that audiences will really enjoy. i um, really been thinking a lot about the script, working hard, I spent a lot of time with a stunt and props company called UWE. We went to the locations that we, we've planned to use we talked about the routes that the police would take, where the terrorists would be positioned, where the gunfights will happen. We discussed about the briefing and the walking out of the briefing. We looked at the uniforms, we've looked at the weapons, you know, the standard weapons that armed police are issued with. Uh, we talked about the fact that Interpol would be involved, so we'll make sure that, that we have some background artists as Interpol, as well as Interpol, one of the characters as an Interpol officer who will actually be involved in the film. Great deal. I've spent some time with casting director. We've talked about you know how to cast the roles, how to do the auditioning, the rehearsal time to make sure because this will all be filmed from POV. So there's, there's not going to be a lot of chance to use filmmaking skills in the sense of cutting to different angles. You know the actors are going to be a lot of pressure on the actors to make sure they deliver the lines because it's all going to be done in one take. In regards to the funding. I, I, like I've said, I've spent a lot of time preparing this, I've spent a lot of time talking to HODs, uh, to the stunt coordinated team, to the locations, and made sure that the actual amount that I've set up, that is, that is it. If I reach that target, I can make this film. Having said that, if we go above the target, which oh, would be amazing, there's a lot of other things I can do with that money. Uh, from hi maybe hiring extra crew just to make things run a lot smoother on the day to even perhaps getting some extra armed police or terrorists in there just to lengthen out the fight, make it a bit more exciting. The money that I've actually planned in that in the amount there, I've actually taken into account post as well, which I think is something that I, I really wanted to explain to you guys because this is going to be there's going to be a battle scene, so there's going to be the need for visual effects. Uh, in terms of the flashbang uh, coming out, you know, the guns as they're fired. Um, we've got a little bit of explosions, uh, ricochets, you know, bullets hitting walls and stuff like that. There are all these little visual effects that need to be done, as well as there's going to be smooth editing. So there are going to be little cut bits from one scene to the other, which we need to edit smoothly so it actually still looks like one long piece of footage. Uh, that being said, as well, we also need colour grader. Uh, it's, it's a very important thing that you know really separates sort of amateur films from professional films. Is you know when you get a professional color grader, it really helps it stand out on the screen. Uh, as well as that, we want to be able to produce this in 4K and HD, uh, so that we can also put this film into competitions and festivals. With regards to the rewards, um, I spent a lot of time trying to plan these out and just trying to offer you something that will be exciting to hopefully you know draw you in and make you want to be more part of the project that being said i think my favorite has to be backers with a bang uh you're basically i can only provide 10 10 of those because if it was to become popular I, the last thing i'd want is too many people 
well, even though it'd be great that there'd be too many people, but the last thing we need is too many people and we're not being able to get everyone on camera. Um, even though it is, you know, we're going to be kitting everyone out, you're going to have your own armour, you're going to have weapons, uh, you're going to have training with UWE, which is something I would personally like to do. Um, you will actually be on camera. Will actually you'll get seen. So when the film comes out, you know people will actually get to see. You know when they're watching it, your friends and family they'll actually see you. You can say that. That's me. Uh, it will either be you in the middle of the gunfight, or perhaps after the gunfight, or in the briefing. You know, getting up and maybe saying a few lines to the main character, which is some is possibility for some people. Uh, there are a few lines that I've got in place, and if I think it's right, I will throw a line to you. Other than that, uh, I have put on there as well, I know you could consider it a bit cheeky or opportunistic of me, but I've put on the Good Samaritan. Just because there are people out there who I know like to invest in the arts, and you know, I'm kind of hoping that maybe someone will see this and they'll see all the work that I've been doing and how, you know, how determined I am to be a filmmaker and they, they take a chance on me and they invest in me and Trust me, it will be it will not only be appreciated, but I will work hard to make sure that you know you don't feel like I've let you down. Uh, I want to be a filmmaker. You know, I want to do this for a living, and you know, it's just trying to get myself known is you know it's not an easy thing, um, but I'm going to keep doing it. And last year I made a few sort of short films, um, which I kind of funded the best I could, like sixty-two pounds for just a pay for everyone's food and stuff like that um, and the rest of it was you know relying on volunteers and it was because I don't have all the money you know I don't it's just one of those things that when you're starting out you, you've got to just somehow just do the best you can so hopefully you guys will believe in me you'll like the sound of this project it will be exciting and you'll invest you know you'll well, we'll say invest you'll contribute that's about it, that's all I've got to say right now. I'm going to be posting other videos and keeping you up to date. Um, but I just wanted to introduce myself and introduce the project. I hope you get excited by it, because I am. Uh, and I hope you feel like you'd like to contribute. Thank you.